Welcome back viewers, this is Sweet Badasskers again, and I'm back with another unboxing video. Today I'm gonna be looking at another Dragon Ball figure or statue by Bam Presto. And this is in the same uh, sculptures, SE sculptures, whatever it's called, sculptures uh, series. So this is another one, uh, just like that, Goku drinking uh, water from his canteen figure and of course uh, we have the crane king logo there so this is uh, in japan exclusive to japan it was distributed via cranes so play the little game in a crane and you got this as a surprise so uh again i'm gonna be unboxing it and uh, uh i was really excited when i saw this one online uh again great price and uh, it's one of the greats uh, master roshi himself uh, so we're going to be looking at this awesome, goofy figure. And this is another one of those figures that kind of uh, captures that goofier, funny, funnier, easygoing side of Dragon Ball. Of course, Master Roshi and kind of his uh, casual clothes with his shell on his back, kind of running around like crazy, like the old man that he is. And uh, again, uh, uh, here, probably another little biography of the uh, sculptor. So, uh, uh, you know. That's the back of the box showing the figure and the sculptor probably in the back there. Another great snapshot of the statue. And uh, let's get to uh, open this guy. So we're gonna, um, and again, just like, uh, um, you know, it's typical of the uh, Ben Presto crane figures. Uh, not really a lot of packaging, just a cardboard box with uh, some bubble wrap in there. And uh, that's how. Uh, our statue is uh, packaged, so I'm gonna lower my camera here and uh, we we'll popped one of the bubbles. So he does come with his little base also. Just gonna unwrap the whole thing. There we go. We have an opening. And uh, there's the statue itself. Set it aside. I'm just gonna tear through this bubble wrap and get the base out. And we get a few accessories, as you guys will see here. We get a nice little set of uh, glasses. And I really don't want to break these. These look kind of fragile, so... I ripped uh, the tape on it, and here we go. We got the glasses out. We're gonna set those here. And uh, next, we just get a nice little staff here. It's uh, Master Roshi's uh, signature staff. And last but not least, a little peg for him to go on his base. So uh, right off the back, let's just uh, talk about this awesome little statue here. Uh, Master Roshi eh, in the flesh here, folks. Uh, looking rather cool. Uh, again... Funny old guy there. Look at a look at that face. How can you, how can, how can I? How was I expected to resist this face? Come on, I had to have this uh, statue. Again, I love that uh, these statues are showing, uh, you know, the lighter side of Dragon Ball because to me that's what really was at the heart of Dragon Ball. Kind of that awesomeness, epicness. Uh, you know how easy going it was, and of course Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. So I do miss that. I have a little bit of uh, nostalgia. So there is some nostalgia here growing up with Dragon Ball. But uh, aside from that, these are great statues. So uh, Master Roshi has uh, been rendered really well. The paint job is really good. I mean, again, don't expect a perfect paint job from these Bam Presto figures that you get from Cranes. But I mean, for... For a figure like this, this is a really, I mean, these are really nicely done. You can, you can, you can almost say that they pass up for like very expensive statues, but these are not really that expensive at all. And, uh, again, PVC plastic, his leg is a little flexible because it's very thin. But, uh, other than that, you guys can see this, the casting of it is it's just perfect. Uh, no seam line, well, a little bit of a seam line there, uh, but no flashing. I mean, it's been cleaned nicely no flashing anywhere uh you guys can see the details on his uh, uh shirt it's been rendered nicely his neck there uh, i mean just 
insane and an insane amount of detail there uh another really cool feature of this statue is we get master roshi's master roshi's uh, shell um as he used to carry around in dragon ball a lot so again these are you know dragon ball as he's sculptures uh figures so they go back to dragon ball z's roots dragon ball and uh i mean even from his watch nice little detail there you guys can see the nice detail on his watch the various uh, little things in there. Nice little gadget. Uh, so, I mean, they paid attention to even that stuff on this watch. So, this is great. Uh, his shorts, again, not not a lot of, like, uh, uh, airbrushing and things like that. But there is some. It gives it some dimension. It helps. The shirt uh, is really, you know, a little more plain. But his uh, shorts get a little more dimension through uh, airbrushing and whatnot. Very, very light, though. Nothing... Nothing major, nothing exaggerated, which I think complements these figures nicely. And uh, one of the things I really love about this statue are his shoes. I think uh, I really like the way they've uh, rendered his shoes. So they look like uh, something definitely Master Roshi would wear. He would definitely wear these. Nice little tennis shoes there for uh, sprinting and running, as he is in this pose. And so uh, his staff goes in there. And of course, he comes with... Uh, couple of accessories his glasses which you can remove just to take on and off there you go you guys can see uh, his uh, beach glasses there I like the uh, the neon green lenses so you guys can see they just kind of fit in there and uh, his eyes are now green so they're very neon and even the glasses are extremely well done uh, very clean casting, nothing kind of hanging over, the paint job is clean, everything is really nicely done. And of course, his staff. So, um, I think his ta staff just kind of hangs in his hand, nothing really, nothing really major to do with that staff. There you go. So, it just kind of hangs in there. Um, with his little curl kind of going towards the front there, so, yep. There you go. Nothing, uh, nothing complicated at all. That's what his uh, little staff will do. So you guys can see it there. Him holding his staff, and uh, we do get this little peg for uh, his base, and that goes in there like so. I or at least something like that. It's very snug. And again, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Bam Presto uh, figures, statues, uh, really hold on to their pieces. So you guys can see the little peg there. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about the peg. Uh, I think they could have uh, maybe done something else to kind of uh, hide the fact that he's kind of sprinting. I don't know, maybe like like using his back foot or like this foot even. like, And kind of have like a rock there or I don't know, something. And still kind of get the effect that he's jumping through the air, but... Uh, you know, I mean, the the peg is not that distracting. It's just a white base. It's a it's it just sits on it. So you're meant to just kind of ignore it and uh, just kind of appreciate the statue. But I think they could have uh, maybe come up with a more elegant solution. But again, that was probably my only complaint about this uh, statue. But other than that, I mean, you guys can see for yourself. This is an, an a really really nice, funny, awesome, well made statue. Um, from the shell there, nice little finish on it, nice details on it, uh, awesome details on the shell, actually, we can appreciate some of the carving in there and the paint job, the airbrush for the shadow effects, so amazing little uh, shell there, nice, nice, nice uh, details everywhere, uh, the logo on his shirt, Kame, of course, uh, from Kame House, his signature thing, uh, really, really awesome little statue. I mean, from the details to uh, on the shorts to the shirt to the staff, the paint job on the staff. Oh, oh, 3D there. You got the 3D effect. So, really nice little statue. So, really, really happy with this one. Again, this is going to look great next to my uh, Goku figure standing, drinking water from his uh, canteen. So, uh Really, really awesome uh, statue. I'm really happy with it. Uh, this one gets a thumbs up as well. My only complaint is the base. They could have maybe uh, figured out a more elegant way of uh, making a jump. But again, 
It's it's just uh, me being nitpicky. Not, not nothing really big. Not a, not a big deal. Other than that, the statue is perfect. Nice paint job. Nice uh, nice uh, casting. The the sculpt is really awesome. The pose is really amazing. So really happy with this statue. And um, please uh, again like and subscribe. Uh, comment away in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys think of this statue. And uh, please stay tuned for my next unboxing video. Uh, still more videos to come. And uh, again, please, uh, you know, those likes and those subscribe. Uh, and you hitting that subscribe button really helps. So, so please uh, keep doing that. And uh, uh, that's about it for this video. So thank you again so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.